All right, so from the previous video, we learned how to set up our workspace using image planes. So I've already gone ahead and done that for this exercise. So if you'd like to pause the video and get that set up here, uh, you can. Um, so just notice, right, I have my top view here, front view here, right view. I just imported them in. I haven't moved anything yet, but I've named them here in the outliner. You can see top, front, and side. And then I've also created a layer called couch references. I have the R on, so I can't accidentally select one of these things. So yeah, go ahead and take a few moments, get this set up, and then once you've done that, we can get started. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using a subtractive process, right? So it's like if I give you a big block of marble and I say create the statue of David, right? That's a subtractive process where we're removing material as opposed to an additive process, which would be something like ceramics or, you know, um, uh, metal fabrication, right? So ideally when you're working in Maya, you kind of want to be, you know, using all of these techniques together because some can be uh, better than others and they all have their strengths and weaknesses. So we're going to just start by making a cube, right? And I'm going to just make it on the outside of the, right, the top box. I'm using that for my reference, right? And I'm kind of looking at all three of these kind of at the same time. Okay, and it looks like my front and my top view are lined up well. And I'm in the wireframe mode too, by the way. So in these, you know, you can you can select, you know, between five and four, right? We'll turn that on, on and off. So in the wireframe mode, right? I'm kind of looking through and, you know, you can pause the video as you need to. I'm just kind of doing this off the cuff here. and. So my front and the top look good, but you notice the side, this is not correct, right? And if I try to fix it here, you see the top view moves, right? So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the top and the front lined up, but here I have to move this orthographic view. So I'm gonna click the R so I can now select and move this. So I'm just gonna move this, it's a little hard to see the, the box there. So I'm just gonna, move it there okay that looks pretty good okay i'm going to turn this r back on okay so i have my cube right and notice when i created the cube i didn't do anything with the subdivisions i kept the subdivisions at one because as i'll show you uh sometimes when you use boolean functions and you cut into a plane right we take a piece out the subdivisions remain on the outside, but they don't they don't follow through on the inside. So it's really hard to it's really hard to add in mesh after you do a boolean. You'll see what I mean when when we get to that. So so don't worry for now. Okay, so I have my box. I have my box in space, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another box that is the shape of the the seat that you would sit in. Okay, so I'm gonna take my cube here, and I'm gonna make it the size of this right here, right? This part right here is the slope between here, right? And this is the top, this is the top. The dotted line, right? That's the top of the cushion. But now let me, let me make this go up, okay? But notice I'm at the bottom of the cushion because I'm actually gonna create this seat right here, okay? So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna scale this so it's a little bit bigger and kind of sticks out the front and the top. Okay. Okay, I'm making it so it lines up right here with this, right, with the back of that seat. Okay, so notice, right, I'm, I'm at the bottom here. I go up and over. So if you see here, this is what I have, okay? Now, we have to make a transformation here. We have to, let me go into vertex right we want to transform this we want to move this over so notice if i just click and i move right only this vertex was selected right remember maya is going to select everything it thinks is there right so in these orthographic views you have to be mindful and use your bounding boxes here because then notice it selected both of them okay and we're just going to transform this we're going to move we're going to move these lines just to get this lined up with that back seat, okay? So, yeah, we can see here we have two cubes, 
right? And we're going to use the Boolean difference, right? So we're going to select the, the, the cube, shift, click, select the other one, come up to mesh, Booleans, difference, A, B, right? Okay. So what that does is that just hollowed out, right? The difference there, we're getting, you know, the beginnings of our chair. This red preview outline we can get rid of, right? We click on the object and come to edit, delete by type and history. Okay. That gets rid of that. Okay. So using the same process again, we're going to cut out these sides above the armrests. So I'm going to use my cube and I'm going to create another one just a little bit larger on the other sides. Okay. Okay, and notice there's a there's a slight angle, right? Slight angle of this armrest. So I'm gonna try to match that as well. Okay, a little bit too much. Move that up a little bit. Okay, close enough. But notice in this view, right, it's not quite coming into taking out this part of the inside here. So I'm gonna just move it over just a little bit. Let me make this just a little bit bigger. Oh. Okay. So we have this, this block, right, in place at the right angle. So we're gonna control D to clone it, or sorry, make a copy of it, excuse me, and then I'm gonna move it over. Again, I'm kind of looking at all of my views together Right. Make sure I make sure I cover up that inside. OK, so then again, with the Boolean technique, I'm going to click the chair. I'm going to hold shift, click, come up to mesh Booleans difference. Right. Same thing. Click on the cube, shift, click on that block, mesh Booleans difference. OK, not bad. OK. So let's go ahead and get rid of the red previews. I'm going to come to edit, delete by type and history. Okay. So notice one thing that I didn't do. Remember the beginning, I didn't put any subdivisions on, right? Cause I knew I was going to be doing this Boolean for, uh, transformation and um, subtraction. So what we need now is a mesh because if I, if I go into, if I hit three to smooth this out, right? There's no, there's no mesh. There's no edge loops to keep this thing in its form. So what we're going to do is a handy trick you can do is you can select the object, you can come up to mesh, and then you can come to retopologize. Okay. What this will do, I'm going to go ahead and click it. It's going to give me a little warning that says, uh, you know, this could be sure you want to do this. Just ignore and continue. This is, this is fine. So what this does is now Maya is going to automatically look at the, the forms and reapply a mesh. Okay. And you can, I mean, there's individual settings you can use, but you know, just, just the basic right out the gate settings are, are usually fine. So now we have a mesh and now when I press three, right now it, the object is nice and, you know, I can, I can add more edge loops in, I can take more out, but now we have a nice, a nice basic, form okay so now i'm going to create the cushion right so that's easy enough i'm going to take my cube and i'm just going to make a square right again i'm kind of looking at all of my views at the same time you know i'm going to move it out just a little bit oh this one i actually do want to create subdivisions on so this one will do i don't know five five and five okay and then go ahead and hit three right and that will smooth that out render that out okay but you could even make i mean if you wanted to you could make an additional cushion here right well, actually let's just go ahead and do that so i'm gonna do something like this
Okay, same thing, I'll give this five, five and five, and then we need to rotate it, right? Or let's move it and then let's rotate it to match that, that angle. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Not bad. Okay. And then we just need to do the feet now. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the cone and we'll go ahead and create a cone. All right. And let's see for the subdivisions, the height, I don't know. Let's do seven. Okay. Maybe that's, that's good enough. I'm going to kind of position it and here, yeah, here I'll just transform a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit closer. I'm going to delete some of these here as well too. So, okay. That looks good. I'm going to go into the face mode. I'm going to bounding box. I'm going to delete those bounding box here, delete those. Okay. And then come back into object mode and move it right in place. Again, I'm looking at all of my side front and top views. Okay. And then the other technique, right? We learned how to duplicate, right? So I'm going to control D again and just slide this over. Okay. Again, I'm looking at this view. I'm going to control D again. Okay. And we're going to slide over here to the side view. Okay. And then control D one more time and slide over to here. Okay. So not bad. Okay. So right now, right, I mean, these are all independent objects, right? But if we wanted to kind of join them, we could shift, click and here, click here, go to mesh, Booleans, union, right? That puts all those together, right? Yeah, I mean, just, just know how to do it. You don't have to do any of that, but, right? Let me undo. Okay, so. Not bad. This is our sofa. Okay. So go ahead and, um, you know, these, these little exercises are more just kind of a way to make sure that you're, you know, you're actually practicing and doing these things. So go ahead and create your sofa. And I mean, if you want to add anything to it or, you know, get creative with it, you can, but just post an image into Padlet. Hopefully this will help you a little bit in modeling your room, right? Remember you guys should all be working on that. Don't wait until the last minute because this stuff does take time. But yeah, now that you know how to use some Boolean techniques, let's see if that helps you in your, in your modeling. Remember that project is due this week. This will be due Sunday, you know, 11.55 PM. Okay. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and have fun.